have you ever wondered what the soils look like below the share farm? What we're going to do today is we've dug a soil pit and I'm out here with Keith Anderson who's the soil survey leader for the Red River Valley area. And we're going to take a look at, at some of the history that's formed these soils and then also talk a little bit about some of the interesting features that we see below ground that might influence soil health and also crop productivity. So the, the clay lake plain is very flat and that would give one the impression that the soils are all uniform but as, we'll, as we will observe in the pit the soils can be uh, quite variable below ground. Yeah, you can already see that right here Keith, look at this, this is a different color. So in this part of the profile we will probably be leached of salts and we would call this, this soil the Fargo soil series whereas right next door is a soil where the salts are, due to capillarity, are rising in the profile and we would likely call this soil right next door the Hegney series. So we have two soils within a couple feet of each other that have distinct properties of their own. It, this probably leads to some of the, the variability in the crop that we see across the surface. It would because if we, <laughs> if we drop our weak acid on this part of the profile, um, we get no reaction. We're looking for carbonates. Whereas if we drop some of our acid on this part of the profile, we do see that reaction suggesting that but the salts are there. The salts are there, the pH is higher. But you would have micronutrient deficiencies in this yes. part of the soil. Yes, we would. So the crop growing over this area here, because it's different, will be different from the crop growing over this part. So when I look at this, I think a lot about, about the, the darkness of our soil, that we're very fortunate to have this dark soil in North Dakota. Um, and I think about how the roots really prefer this dark part of the soil over this part, obviously because of the salts, because of the organic matter that's present in this part, which the organic matter is what provides all the nutrients. And the rooting might be deeper in this area because there's just more medium for it to grow into versus here where the roots are going to hit these salts and they're not going to want to tap into that. And so you can see how a, a crop might be much healthier over this type of soil versus this one. 